Hi, this is Julia Sweeney, author and narrator of If It's Not One Thing, It's Your Mother. My audiobook, If It's Not One Thing, It's Your Mother, is a collection of essays, but it's framed around this thing that happened to me, which was I got to spend four weeks alone in my house in the summer. My daughter went to camp, and my husband went away on a work business trip, and I was so excited for them to leave, and I got to be alone, and I was sort of concerned about it because I thought, how could I have worked so hard to have a family, which I really did work really hard, and then I got them, and then I just really wanted them to disappear and go away. So I got it. I got the dream, and the audiobook sort of follows the four weeks that I get to be alone. My writing process is incredibly haphazard, and I turn one part of my psyche into a mean nun who yells at me about how I didn't get enough writing done that day. And she is always there on my shoulder, and she is really mean to me. And if I don't do two hours of strict writing with the internet off, I have to have the pain of feeling totally guilty for the entire rest of the day. So while during the month that I was putting this book together, I was writing for many more hours a day than just two, I put a star on my calendar when I've done it because I'm really in second grade. And that's my writing process. And I also have to do it first thing in the morning because once the day really begins, actually afternoon, forget it. It's all over. I can't write afternoon. I really wanted to narrate If It's Not One Thing, It's Your Mother. In fact, that is like, to me, the narration of it, the audiobook version may be, to me, the perfect version of this book, frankly. I love the form of telling stories out loud, and I just couldn't have imagined anyone but me reading it. It's me, and I like doing that. And so I insisted, and fortunately, Simon & Schuster seemed to think it was a good idea for me to read it, and that's how it all happened. I've been writing some personal monologues. I've written on a lot of TV shows. I've acted on TV shows. But since I left Saturday Night Live, probably the most satisfying thing for me to do was to write my own material in long form. Like, I really, when I left SNL, I was really over skits. Even though I do appreciate them. I watch the show now. I appreciate when the skits are good. They're good. But I don't like thinking that way. I felt like... I liked jokes that took longer to pay off. I liked situations that built. So writing something like this is really just the perfect job for me. I really like it so much more. Although I have to say getting dressed up in characters, outfits is really fun. And I miss doing Pat. I know that seems weird. I would never do Pat again. But that was a really fun time. I think compared to the other monologues I've done... I did God Said Ha, which is about my brother's death, uh, Michael, who had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and my own cancer. And I did Letting Go of God, which was about me trying to become a Catholic again at age 40 and realizing that I didn't actually believe in God. And I think if it's not one thing, it's your mother. Well, it's because I'm so close to it, but I actually think it's my best work so far. I really do. I feel so proud of it. I worked really hard on it. I like that it's a record of what's happening in my life right now. And my monologues are like children, so I'm just telling you that my favorite is If It's Not One Thing, It's Your Mother. Oh, my God. I got a Grammy nomination for God Said Ha. It was so wild. It was the greatest thing. I got to go to the Grammy Awards. And actually, the only thing I truly remember from that time was that I was dating this guy who really did not appreciate that we were going to the Grammys like he should. And Mike Mills from R.E.M., who I sort of know, asked me to go to an after party with R.E.M., like just R.E.M. and like 20 other people. And I didn't go. And I have to say, the only thing I remember from being nominated for a Grammy is that I didn't ditch this loser guy I was with and go to that friggin' party. What was wrong with me? I don't know what I really want people to take away from if it's not one thing, it's your mother, except that I hate to speak on behalf of mothers everywhere. I really do try to keep things personal because I really only know how I think and I really only know about my own experience. But I guess if I had to answer what I want people to take away, it's that I think all mothers want to get away from their family. And if they don't, there's something wrong with those mothers. And actually getting some time away from your family was great. And being a mother is a wonderful thing, and it's filled with complications and frustrations, and it's filled with ongoing family drama, as mine is. 
And we're all part of this big human thing where we're all stuck in and happy to be in these families. And I guess I want my book to just make people feel connected in their own stories in that way, the way I feel.